Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 16 Parts A and B We will multiply and simplify if possible. In Part A we must distribute. We have square root of 5 times 3. A radical times a whole number is written with the whole number times a radical. So 3 times square root of 5. Now we have a positive times a negative so let's mark the sign. Positive times a negative is negative. And a square root times a square root is written as the square root of the product of the radicands. So we multiply 5 times 7, which is 35, and we have square root of 35. Except for 1, no perfect square is a factor of 5, so we cannot simplify the square root of 5. And also, except for 1, no perfect square is a factor of 35, so we cannot simplify the square root of 35 either. And these two terms are not like terms because the radicand, the numbers inside the radical, inside the square root, are not the same. So we cannot combine these two terms into a single term. So this is simplified, as you see it, as much as possible. Here in part B, we will proceed much in the same way as we did in part A. The square root of 7 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 7 times 2, so we have the square root of 14. Positive times positive is positive. Let's mark the sign. And we have square root of 7 times 3 times square root of 14. So we write the whole number 3, and then the square root of 7 times the square root of 14 is the square root of 7 times 14, so we have the square root of 98. And let's look at the square root of 98. The largest perfect square factor of 98 is 49. So we have square root of 49 times square root of 2, because 49 times 2 is 98. And that is 7 times the square root of 2. Let's bring the rest of this down. We have square root of 14, which does not simplify because, except for 1, there are no perfect square factors of 14, plus 3 times 7 times square root of 2. So we have square root of 14 plus 21 square root of 2. And these two terms are not like terms because they have different numbers under the radical sign, so we cannot add them into a single term. And this is the final simplified answer.